you cannot disregard what they would have, would have gained from the rugby championship. And that's why in our discussions there's a, a massive respect for this challenge, for where they are now, and we're, we're under no illusions that we're going to have to front up. And, uh, and uh, if it gets down to trench warfare, they're as good as anyone, and, and we, you know, we rate ourselves in that area as well. So uh, I think from, from a game perspective, there will be moments um, you've seen some moments from Argentina that they're not afraid to take the line on it and maybe look for that extra channel uh, using Bosch in the midfield there a little bit. So I won't say it's going to just be a dour affair, but I think that, that those tight exchanges are going to give a nice little touch and edge to the game. And, and you know, we've got near full house and if we can get the crowd in right behind it like they usually do and, you know, it'll be, it'll be rocking. And, uh, you know, on the other side of the coin, if we find the space there, We've been working hard on that and uh, you know, we'll back ourselves to, to, to play to that space as well. I wouldn't say that it's been totally changed. I just think he's given them perhaps a little bit of confidence and they've been able to, to <coughs> apply that against the, the Tri-Nation teams and um, been able to experiment a little, little, little bit with it and had some success with it. You know, they didn't quite get the returns they wanted over the last over the championship. They didn't get a win. Um, that they got a good one against Wales and you saw you know, the two tries they put on, you can just see what they're trying to work to. So um, certainly an influence there, but it'd be remiss to say that it's totally been his, his uh, influence. You know, they've got a good coaching staff, there's no doubt about that.